So winter is probably my least favorite time of the year. A major reason why that is is because where I live here in southeastern Pennsylvania, most of the trees are deciduous, so they lose all of their leaves in the winter. And I love trees. I'm a plant person. I love plants and trees, and it's not fun when there's no trees around. So to combat this, I wanted to try out something over the winter, and I wanted to actually try to start seeds or start tree seedlings inside over the winter using Pringles cans. So. Pringles are one of my favorite snacks and um, I accumulated, collected some of these cans over the last few months and I've saved them up. And what I'm gonna do is actually try to grow some tree seedlings in Pringles cans over the winter so when spring gets here, I can plant them wherever and they can you know, get a head start. So I've never done this before um, and I'm not sure how these Pringles cans will hold up. They do have like a little bit of a metal lining on the inside so hopefully That'll do it, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes, and this video will be over the course of a few months, over the winter months, and hopefully we'll have some nice tree seedlings when spring gets here, so enjoy, guys. All right, so here we have a whole bag of Kentucky coffee tree seed pods. And these trees have male and female individuals, so this was from a female tree um, at a shopping mall near me. Gave off plenty of very nice-looking fruit, very full. And uh, so if we just pop open one of these, we can see that they have anywhere between like two and five seeds. These seeds actually don't need winter stratification. Like you can just kind of soak them in water overnight uh, for a day or two and then put them in the ground. And within a couple weeks, a lot of them will sprout actually. So I'm gonna open all of these up, collect these seeds, soak them in a bowl and plant them. And actually I'm gonna plant them in Pringles cans because these trees have a tap root and the long taproot can go down this long tube. So we'll see how it works. I've never done this before in a Pringles can. I don't know how well it'll hold up with water and things like that, but we'll see. All right, so here are the seeds soaked in some warm water. Ideally, you want this to be in like a heat proof container so it'll hold the warm water longer. Looks kind of nasty, but after 24 hours or so, some of these will swell noticeably and you want to plant those right away into some soil. And like I said, within two weeks, usually they pop up with pretty good germination rates. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so here we have our setup. We have the nine Pringles cans and the seeds that have been soaking for like 36 hours. It looks kind of nasty. I think some of them open up, but I just plant them anyway. Um, so we're just gonna drop a few, maybe two or three in each of these tubes and give it a little bit of water and we'll come back in a couple weeks. So uh, I'm just gonna like stick them in just below, push them down a little bit. Drop in two or so in each. So I usually get like a 50% a maybe germination rate with these so all right we have we have enough for three per container plus two more so we have 29 total seeds and we'll just we'll just stick them in like I said if more than one uh, per can start then I might thin them out a little so cover them a little try to space them out a little bit too and then within like usually like two weeks or so some of them start germinating so we will see all right, so now I'm just gonna get some water. I don't know how well these Pringles cans, like I said, I don't know how well they're gonna hold up, like being watered and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, it's all an experiment. All right, so we're about a week, um, a week and a half, maybe two weeks in now, and we're starting to see some germination. You can see this one up in the top here, stem starting to sprout out of it, so in another week or so, that one will be standing up on its own, putting down its first leaves, and uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. It's also happening in that one there as well. Some signs of life coming, so pretty cool stuff. All right, everyone, so we're a few days later, and as you can see, this is actually working out really well. And to my surprise, I put like three or four seeds into each one, but only one of them are germinating so far, which would be cool. I wouldn't have to thin anything out. I mean, look at some of these. They're getting ready to send out the first leaves. So far, the Pringles cans are feeling as though they're not deteriorating at all, so that's really good. All right, here's another update. So we're a couple days later, and a lot of them are trying to spread their initial leaves. Um, so Kentucky Coffee Tree has compound leaves, so you'll notice there's a lot of little leaflets on here. So they're not quite spread open yet, but um, they're looking good. 
Most of the seedlings have grown up a little bit and spread their leaves and are getting ready to put out another pair of leaves. All right, so here's another update. Um, it looks like most of them have at least two or three leaves out. They're starting to put out another set of leaves here. This, this one's the third one, but they're doing really well. Um, they seem to be getting a good amount of sunlight in here in this in my room. And yeah, it's looking good. I'm excited to see how these plants do over the course of the remaining winter. Um, some of the trees have three or four different leaves on them now, so they're doing well. And yeah, this, this one's got four leaves. Um, they seem to be doing really well, and as you can see outside, um, it snowed, <laughs> so they're doing okay in here. Um, the heater's on, here's the other ones, and uh, pretty awesome stuff. It's been a couple months now since I've grown these in these Pringles cans, and I can say for sure the Pringles cans are a good idea. They've held up to water, they have like pretty much are in the same condition as when I first used them, and I, I'm sure you could reuse these. It's actually springtime now. Um, it's still a little bit cold outside, so I'm not gonna, I've been bringing these guys in. Um, I think they're getting a little bit root bound here, and especially with these trees who have a tap root, they're not doing too well. Um, it's been a couple months since they've been in here, so they definitely are looking to spread out their roots and grow a little bit more, so they've pretty much stopped growing. So what I'm actually gonna do is, we're just gonna take one out and move it into a bigger pot. We will see what the root structure looks like if it reached to the bottom of the Pringles can and we'll see how the Pringles can looks on the inside and how it held up with the water and everything sitting in there for a couple months. So yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so this is what it looks like. I just took it out of the Pringles can and you can see the roots definitely reach to the bottom of the can. Uh, this is what they look like next to each other. But we're going to transfer it to a new pot and we'll see how this how this guy grows um, through the spring and maybe we'll try to find a permanent spot to plant him so he can start establishing himself. But let's uh, look at the Pringles can on the inside. So this is the inside of the can. So after a couple months you can see there's very little damage. Um, it's just a little bit wet on the inside. Yeah, overall like very impressed with how these cans held up didn't seem to be decomposing or rotting in any way so definitely you could reuse these even multiple times I would think really good for using um, to plant trees in I would just like I said not <laughs> plant them for months you know like maybe a month or two and then plant them outside or something or start them later in the winter so I'm gonna stick this in this pot and give it some water before it dies and yeah ultimately Pringles cans do make some pretty good tree starters or inside planters. <laughs> 